From the one and only, this is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Calvin Hughes, and here's a look at the stories making news on this Monday night. Today marked a new week in the penalty phase for Parkland shooter Nicholas Cruz. More critical testimony included the last of the victims who survived, along with the Uber driver who took Cruz to the school that day, noting that he looked nervous. BSO Sergeant Gloria Crespo also told the jury that the AR-15 style rifle she found in the school was loaded and ready to go. Families of the victims were in the courtroom during more difficult testimony about fatal wounds, some holding hands and others tearing up. Well, police are now searching for the gunman and responsible for a drive-by shooting in Florida City that left two people injured today. One of the victims is a toddler. It happened early this morning in the area of Southwest 6th Place and 10th Street. Authorities say two-year-old Makai Lusant was shot in the leg and rushed to the hospital and the mother telling local 10 tonight that he's expected to be okay. The child's mother also believes they were targeted. Anyone with any information is urged to call the Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers 305-471-TIPS. The former BSO deputy seen slamming a teen to the ground during an arrest has been acquitted of misdemeanor battery. Video shows the 2019 incident where Christopher Krikovich was seen pushing DeLuca Roll's head into the pavement and then punching him. It happened in a McDonald's parking lot in Tamarack. During trial, a BSO sergeant testified Roll was resisting and Krikovich followed protocol. The sheriff had fired Krikovich over the incident in 2019. Krikovich's attorney says he will be seeking his job and back pay. A Lamborghini going airborne after speeding through a stop sign and crashing into another car in Fort Lauderdale. Surveillance cameras captured the collision and the moment when the white Lamborghini right there SUV went flying into a home, severely damaging the roof. A neighbor helped the driver out of that SUV before it went up in flames. Police say that driver left the scene and no word yet on whether he will face any charges. The person in the other car suffered minor injuries. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. You can always go to our website for more information, local10.com. Be safe out there. See you back tomorrow.